So this is part two to a video I did a few um, months ago, which was about how to soil test. And I did get my soil test results back. And it turns out um, that I am, my garden soil is low in potassium. So as a reminder, the three things that I've learned that are most important in the soil are nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. And so the fact that potassium was low to me is like kind of a, a light bulb moment or like I'm kind of happy that something's low because I've had two years of failed tomatoes the past two years. They were absolutely terrible. And what I learned um, when I looked it up is that if your potassium is low in the soil that um, plants have a difficult time taking in nitrogen and, uh, and water. So of course these are essential um, to the plants. So this could be why my plants were not so good. So fingers crossed I'm going to attempt to rectify this issue. As the granddaughter of a gardener, I learned to appreciate fresh food from a young age. Now with my own garden in the city, it's time to plant. As a registered dietitian, I'm inspired by the food I'm able to grow. I'll share my tips on how to be a nutritional cook and make homegrown the star of my recipes. Learning from educational resources, friends, and some wise seasoned veterans, I seek to uncover the secrets of gardening. So one of the things I found out when I was researching that I also thought was interesting is that um, in New England, most soil has sufficient phosphorus because phosphorus binds to the soil, but potassium tends to run off. And we, since we get a lot of rain, um, I guess that can cause a deficiency. So I thought that was pretty interesting. But the way we're gonna attempt to fix the potassium today is so when you get your soil results, testing results back, it gives you recommendations. So mine said 0.4 pounds of potassium per 100 square feet. So my garden is about 100 square feet. So I need about a half a pound. Don't quote me on this math, not my thing. But we're gonna do our best. So if I need a half of a pound, I ordered this um, potassium sulfate 0050. And I wanted an organic source of potassium, so that's why I went with this one. Um, and this is OMRI listed, so it is the organic... OMR. Oh, dang it. I always forget what it stands for. Anyway, uh, OMRI is um, the certification that this is for organic use. Um, and so since I need half of a pound, this is by weight 50% potassium, I need, and this is a five pound bag, I actually need one pound, so I need about a fifth of this bag. Okay, so this is five pounds, so I need two cups. So I'm gonna take two cups of this and it has to be diluted in water, and I have a gallon of water right here. <laughs> So I'm gonna put two cups of my potassium sulfate, so potassium and sulfur mixed together. So I'm gonna do two cups of this, one in the water. And I have never done this before, so as with everything else I do, this is an experiment. Two. fizzing. This is like a science experiment. Okay, so it looks very interesting. All right, so now I'm going to take that and I'm going to um, just pour it all over my garden.
now that I've spread the potassium, I'm going to spread out these Coast of Maine um, organic garden soil that I bought to top off my soil and give me some kind of give me a little fresh soil because it's nice to put a little fresh soil every year. And I use Coast of Maine because it's from Maine, it's in New England, it's local, and I think they make a really good product. So that's what I'm going to use. I'm We have successfully put down our potassium on top of the old soil that was here. And then I just covered it with new soil, new organic, um, new organic coast of Maine soil. So I think between the potassium, hopefully helping the old soil and the new soil I topped it off with, I hope we're in good shape. I do wanna give credit and thanks to Tom um, Atkins, who was my professor. I recently took a Master Urban Gardener course and he was my professor on uh, soil testing and he's the one who really told me how to do all of this. So hopefully I did everything right. Um, it was really helpful and eye-opening for me. I've never done anything like this before. I usually just try to plant in my plot and hope for the best, but this year I'm really trying to remediate and you know solve any issues that are happening because like I said for a couple of years now my tomatoes and my other plants just really haven't been doing great so hopefully this fixes the problem we'll see we'll see how it goes I will keep you updated but for now that's all it looks good until next weekend Memorial Day weekend plants are getting in the ground very exciting see you then